And one of the things you did ask him that was really fascinating, and I just remember this when it happened. You're in the playoffs. You're the best player in the world. You and your father, after a loss, decided to go to Atlantic City. Win, lose, or draw. You say you returned at 1230. The media say you returned at 230. Either way, it's a big deal. What really happened here? Well, um, I, I got the sense he was eager to talk about uh, gambling and, and the allegations and the reputation that he has, um, being on the inside of it, Michael's worth almost $2 billion at this point. I think he's mm. 1.9 billion is mm. what Forbes or whoever ranks those things has him at. There is no amount of money that he's going to be able to gamble with someone else unless he's calling up Bill Gates and, and Bill's giving him three and a half on the, on the <laughs> Orlando San Antonio game. That day. It's not going to happen. Uh, and that ain't even including the team. He could sell that mm -hmm. yeah, for, I mean, over a bill just itself. He's doing fine. And, and so he's not gambling at this stage of his life, nor do I believe he was gambling at any stage of his life for financial gain. He's gambling because he loves games, loves it. The second time mm -hmm. that I ever met him um, was at that same hotel where I first met him. And I got a call. This is the day of the Masters, in the Masters um, final round in 2018 so it was the day of the jordan brand classic which was being played at barclays in jersey that day and i got a phone call come up and and uh hang out with mj and then go to the game with him and you guys can spend some time in, in the suite watching the game and, and watching golf dope dope so i checked my schedule and it worked out and i and i, and I had of course it, it did <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> We get into the SUV. We, we had a beer in the lobby of the hotel. We were just talking about golf and, and his core. He was building his course at that time. And, and I'm a big golf fan. And we were talking about who we, who we liked that day. We're getting into the SUV. We, we close the door and we pull away. And we're in Midtown Manhattan. And we're going to, to um, Brooklyn, to Barclays Center. And he said, and he knows that, that these are sensitive topics. He doesn't know me yet, but these certainly for doing a documentary, something like gambling is something that's going to be a sensitive topic. We close the door, we pull away. He says, I bet you we see 10 pairs of Jordans from here to the arena. <laughs> there wasn't a million on the line. There wasn't a thousand on the line. There wasn't a dollar on the line. There was no money on the line, but he's got a half hour where he's in a confined space. He wants to play a game. Mm. That's what he wants to do. And he wants to win the game. So I said, all right, you're on. And I'm thinking we're in Midtown. All I got to do is make it to the FDR. If I can make it, to, we're, we're going down 57th Street. Just go straight down 57th or 59th and don't see 10 pairs of Jordans that we both agree are definitely Jordans. You get to the FDR, you're not going to see any pedestrians. And then we get off the, the bridge. No one's on the bridge with Jordans on. We go right to the arena and we're good. So we saw like three by the time we get to the FDR. We drive down the, F the, the highway all the way. It takes us a while to get into Brooklyn, in and around Brooklyn. When we start to get close to the arena, it's the Jordan brand classic. <laughs> so anyone attending that game has Jordans on. And we're going, he's going four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Da, 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 da. I said, well, that's not fair. We're, we're at the Jordan Brand Classic. And he just turns and winks at me. He knew he was going to win before he started that. That's what it's about with him. It's not about, it's like Will Produce said. It's like, I got your money in my pocket. He's now, he won that game over me. He doesn't even know who I, he doesn't know my name probably. At point, but, but all he wants to do is win that game. So the calculus in his head, he sat there, and I'm sure thought on some level, there's going to be a lot of people wearing Jordans at this thing. I wonder how many people are wearing Jordans on the sidewalk. Not many, but there's going to be way more there. Hey, let's play a game that I know I'm going to win with this kid in this car right now. That was such a glimpse into his personality <laughs> and, and, and into what you watch the gambling footage in this thing. They're pitching pennies for a $20 bill. Uh, when they're golfing, he's saying, you know, he's one up on the guy and he's saying, I got 20 on that hole and I got 60 on this one. This is not there. He can gamble. I was down in Jupiter and got told by a caddy who was caddying for them at the time. Michael's playing with Keegan Bradley. Um, who's also a member at Bears Club, uh, and, and they golf together frequently. And Keegan's got him, uh, after 16 holes, Keegan's got him by like $1,400. So, again, it was good to hear that, like, all right, it's not, it's not 60000 or some crazy. It's $1,400. Yeah. These guys are both rich. They can handle that kind of money. But Michael's down a lot. 
So Keegan's talking trash to him as they're approaching the, the 17th tee. And he says, I'm going to take your $1,400 and I'm going to take my boys out to your boy's restaurant tonight. And I'm going to get wine and steaks from my friends at your boy. He's talking about Tiger, <laughs> Tiger's restaurant. And Michael's fuming. So he says, all right, we'll go double or nothing on the final two holes. No strokes. We're playing straight up. No strokes. Mm. 17 and 18. Keegan Bradley goes par, par. Michael goes birdie, par. Shakes his hand and says, enjoy Taco Bell. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.